In this tutorial we'll solve the error node refuse to apply style because it's MIME type text HTML is not a supported style sheet. All right, so that error occurs because the browser is expecting to get a style sheet, a .css file, and instead it gets some kind of HTML file. And that's probably because in your HTML, you're linking to the wrong path. And so your server will send back a 404 HTML page instead of a style sheet, right? So then the browser is like, this is not a style sheet. This is actually a text forward slash HTML uh, type, right? So in, an, in a Node Express app, to solve this, it, in the vast majority of cases, it's because you haven't set up this uh, static asset uh, stuff properly. So you can ignore everything else. The important part here is, is that you have this line, app.use, and then you have to link to, uh, you have to specify where your static assets of, of your project are. So those are usually um, style sheets, script files, and images. Those are the most common ones. And typically you wanna serve them from a so-called public folder. So it's a little bit cumbersome here. It's a little bit strange looking, but this is how you would uh, include that here. So you can say express.static and, um, and then path.join. Now make sure that path, this is the recommended way of doing it according to the express documentation, by the way. And they use a, a separate library for that. So make sure you also include that here. It comes out of the box um, when you install uh, Node.js. So make sure you also link to that here. And then uh, make sure you, you copy this. So path.join two underscores their name public, right? So we're basically providing an app absolute path here to express.static and this will actually give us so-called middleware you don't really have to understand all of this it's a bit uh, tricky actually that's probably why a lot of people run into issues with this so now you're you're basically telling that all your static assets are in a folder called public right so then in your html or ejs or whatever uh, format you're using right, let me quickly create a boilerplate here right so then in your html if you link to a static asset, um, Node will, al will already assume it's gonna be served from public, right? So if you say um, style.css here, this would be the correct way of linking to the style sheet here. Do not include public here or something like that because uh, Node already knows, right? Or Express already knows it's from the public folder, right? So you don't need to uh, specify it anymore. It's actually, it will actually give you an error, right? Maybe you have some additional folders here, maybe something like uh, style sheet and then it's sitting in that folder, right? So now it's gonna be forward slash style sheets. And then it's the style.css um, file in there, right? So you could also see this as like the root for your static asset, right? So you have to provide these paths also to your script file, um, to your images, if you have images in here, you have, to, you have to look at it from the perspective of starting from there. Now, if that didn't solve it, what could happen sometimes is that you have comments at the top of your CSS file. Right, so make sure that you uh, try removing them as well and maybe that will solve the error as well. By the way, if this was helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you could like and subscribe. Also, check out my courses on CSS and JavaScript if you want to take those skills to an advanced level. Because in there, we will build some beautiful real-world projects from scratch so you can see how everything fits together and really master CSS or JavaScript. And I will also release other courses soon like React and Node.js. So if you want to be notified, then make sure you are subscribed to the email newsletter. You can find the link in the description. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you soon.